So the Bank of Canada just kept the rate the same. Everybody's talking about it, and a lot of it's really boring stuff. But here's kind of the breakdown, the reality of the situation right now, what we're going to see. We kind of expected it to stay the same. I think a lot of the markets and the bond yields and things were kind of indicating that it was going to be held. So that's good news. Last time we had this situation, we had a bit of an uh, uptick in sales in the market. And the reason why we had that is I think a lot of people jumping in going, I'm going to jump in now before anything changes again, right? And before the mortgage rates potentially go up higher. In fact, in a lot of cases, they did mortgage interest rates were actually reduced for a small period of time by a small amount over the time right after the banks or the Bank of Canada held their rates. So this may happen again. Watch this space for that. Uh, and the second thing is, is we've also had one quarter of uh, a negative GDP growth, which is a recessionary indication and a second quarter on the way where we're thinking it's going to be the same based on the current statistics and if that does happen two consecutive quarters with negative GDP growth ultimately means we are in a recession like qualified bona fide whatever you want to call it it is a recession and so when we're in a recession the only tool the Bank of Canada has to remove or reduce that recessionary situation is to lower the Bank of Canada rate and so I would expect, based on everything I've been reading into next year, we see a lowered Bank of Canada rate at some point into 2024, uh, just because if this recession is going to be official in the next quarter or this quarter, then that would be something that would be important to them to remove and get out of very quickly. So that's what I got for you today. Any questions, of course, you can always reach out to me. Happy to answer what I can.